Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, your boy Gary Dean, and I'm at my shop today. I am not doing Super Slick 2000 on a ski. I'm actually removing uh, oxidation from this old 924 S Porsche. Let me show it to you. All right, so it's an old 924 S. I have polished this car before, but I did not post the video of it. Um, that was a little over two years ago I polished this thing, and all we put on there, I want to say he used... I think he put Meguiar's fleet, ma fleet Wax on here. You can see how shiny I have it now. I mean, it's far from perfect. Um, and it's, it's just hammered, very oxidized. You can see some of the oxidation still in there. But I cut the ever-loving piss out of this car two and a half years ago to get it looking right. I did not expect to have to see it again. I thought he was going to sell it and move on. However, that's not the case, and here it is. Um, you can see how bad the oxidation is on the roof there compared to how I have already cut it. This is a single stage, I think this is guards red. So I got the roof looking pretty good. And pretty much from the hood all the way around to the rear quarter looks pretty awesome I've done all this side already and like we mentioned this side of the roof and then all of this and I did the front of the bumper there or the top I should say still got to do this rear section here you can see how oxidized this rear bumper is and how oxidized this quarter panel and door are i am using a rotary this is my little bs max shine rotary i would not recommend this to anybody um, it is just not a fantastic tool it overheats and um, the soft start doesn't work properly i don't know anyway i'm using a purple foam wool this is a six and a half inch pad. I really need a five and a half inch, but I don't have any. But the purple foam wool is working great to remove this oxidation with the Sunday's one step polish. This is the only polish I use anymore. No need for anything else. And if you are questioning why one bottle is $75 for a 16 ounce bottle, first of all, the compounds that are used to compose the formula are very expensive. But beyond that, I'm not buying an incredibly big batches like the big companies. Plus, this is literally one or three times concentrated what the next leading one step would be. And so what that means is you're going to use about three quarters of an ounce to do an entire car. Uh, half ounce to three quarters ounce. Uh, usually on a, on a full size black suburban i use just under one ounce of that product so at the 75 dollars we're going to do just some quick math real quick at that 75 dollar price tag so at 75 bucks okay that 75 dollars divide that by there's 16 ounces and so we'll just say you'll get 16 full cars out of 75 bucks that means it costs you $4.69 to polish a car like this. So think about it, $4.69. Let's say with your other products, you have a full $10 invested in the job you're doing. Now, for perspective, I'm charging this gentleman $850 to do a two-step correction on this Porsche. So I'm charging them 850 bucks to bring the red back out of this thing, give it a good detail, and I'm going to put on some good protection. I'll dress the tires, make sure all the glass is treated, and all of that. So full two-step correction at 10 
dollars it's going to cost me to do this en entire job. Now, this is not a ceramic coating job. So now that is where the price get changes. If this were a ceramic coating job, I would be charging him more than the 850. Um, in fact, this would be about a $1,200 job with the ceramic. It is 850 because I'm not applying ceramic. I am going to apply Vitality Shield to this thing, which I think is going to work the best on the single stage paint. So with good quality protection, good paint hydration, and then solid paint correction, obviously, um, to bring the color back, 850 bucks, and it cost me $10 worth of product to do this entire car. 850 and it costs $10. So 10% of $850 is $85, okay? That's 10%. I have always, look at my videos from 15, 16 years ago. I've always preached 10%. 10% cost, 90% profit. That's what your job should be costing you. If they cost you more than that, you're paying too much. And if you wanna be a part of my Go system, that is the Sunday's One Step Polish. This is the newest version with the priming catalyst in it. Uh, there's the Go Cleaner. There's the Go Ceramic. Uh, there's the Go Dressing. And then the one other one is the, um, the Go Juice. So there are five products in the new Go system that'll be released uh, for March 1st, 2025. Uh, one of which is what you see here. So I'm gonna stop babbling and get back to work. But that's what we're doing is removing oxidation from this uh, old 924S. So I'm gonna go ahead and get some more done and I'll bring you back when I've got some more to show. Basically, I've got to polish, I've got to compound and polish this side and this side of the roof and then I've got to polish a couple other sections. So I'll bring you back shortly. All right, so here's the grand finale. She looks much better than she did when she got here. I'm gonna to try to dig up some of that old footage the first of the f first time I did this car. You can still see there's some pretty deep oxidation. Um, it's a little bit cloudy, not as glossy as I would prefer, but definitely much more glossy than it was. You should be able to see a lot more of the stuff I don't prefer under my nice lighting. These LED lights are fantastic for showing off defects and problems and things you don't want to see, which is exactly why they go well in a detailer shop. So, um, as I mentioned, I washed with Infinite Use Detail Juice. I clayed with my Japanese clay bar. I then got everything dry and then I did a two different steps of polishing, one of which I did with the rotary that's what I mentioned earlier. So I used the rotary and the purple foam wool with the Sunday's one step. And then um, I used a blue polishing pad and the Sunday's one step on my 15 millimeter throw cordless DeWalt dual action polisher. Uh, and that's what I did the finishing work with. And you can see the in incredible gloss is awesome. I cleaned the wheels, I dressed the tires with the new Go dressing. I really like that stuff. It doesn't look too glossy. It dries to the touch. It just really looks nice. So anyway, after I did the second step of polishing, I wiped everything away and because Sunday's One Step has the priming catalyst in it. I went straight into, I applied the uh, Slick AF, which is what I have in this spray bottle, to the whole car. So we got some, some really good protection on here. We got some uh, really awesome gloss. 
and I'm very happy with how it turned out. I don't know the year. I will put the year in here. I'll ask him what the year is. I think it's a nine, maybe it's an 88. Not sure. Anyway, it's a 924S. So there you go. That's oxidation removal 101. Make this thing look better because he likes to drive it. It sits outside in the driveway. All right. If you need something detailed, 813-846-4406 is my cell. You can check out Gary Dean's Detailed Juice Nation. It's a group on Facebook where we talk only about my products, my processes, and what I've got going on. And again, if you've got questions for me, or you'd like to have something detailed, or modified, or painted, or any of the things, 813-846-4406. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a wonderful day.